Get your decade ahead horoscope now at NadiaShaw.com. Hello, fabulous superstar Leo. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of September 2019. Looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is. We have an active and fabulous sky playing out for us right now. And as we start this month, especially, if you remember, I spoke about this last month, you will be ending last month and entering this month with a lot of very lucky and uplifting energy. There is a lot of opportunity that is playing out for you, especially where it comes to money, money that you earn, money that you spend as well. You may be feeling especially generous, but you have it. And that's part of the excitement of this time. And that energy is with you in the first part of the month. But as we navigate towards the middle of the month, the energy will shift as energy does. And we will uh, enter a full moon period. That happens right around the 14th, give or take a day on either side, depending on where you are on the planet. Now this full moon will be taking place in a part of the sky that is also connected to money. It has to do with your relationship with financial institutions and some Leos may experience this energy on that front. But I think that a lot of Leos will experience this having to do with regeneration and transformation, being profoundly honest with yourself and perhaps with another as well. And as part of this, it may be a time where you are learning more about yourself than you did before, but it is in an empowering way, in a way that motivates you to change and move forward. Part of the characteristics of this full moon is that it will be happening mighty close in the sky with Neptune. And it will be under the light of the full moon that Neptune will stand across the sky from Mars with precision. Now these two planets have this type of connection maybe once every two years. And so when they do connect in this way, well, it is a time of heightened emotion um, and also emotion that feels as if it's waxing and waning. Uh, emotions that feel changeable and rise to the surface. Now for you, given where this full moon is taking place, this theme becomes that much more heightened as you are looking at things more deeply, more honestly. And this can be a time when as a result of your honesty, you are left changed. This full moon as well is going to benefit those of you who are in some sort of therapeutic journey. So whether that is physical, whether that is psychological, wherever it is that you have been working towards experiencing meaningful change, this may be one of those moments where it feels as if you have like 10 sessions in one or what they call the breakthrough moment, right? Whenever you're involved in a process, a therapeutic process, chances are you sort of inch forward bit by bit. And then we have these leaps that take place. This could be that kind kind of particularly emotional leap that happens for you where you realize that you are changed. You realize what's really been going on, what resistance might have been there, and you break past it and you are left better as a result. Now, as I said, uh, your relationship to financial institutions may be covered here at this time. And so it is possible you may have to very quickly pay attention to a matter related to one of these institutions, uh, whether it is a grant, loan, bursary, insurance payment, uh, tax returns or benefits you may qualify for. You may have to be present on that front uh, to actually address something that comes up. No worries though, at all. The great thing is when we have such strong financial energy, it means that the money you need is there. You are in the middle of a very slow transit of Neptune moving through this part of the sky, which means the tide comes in and the tide comes out. It tends to mean that since 2012, when this transit first started, it tends to be not the best transit for like, you know, stable investments and things like that. Uh, yes, you can, of course, uh, find yourself making choices that bring about a sense of stability, which is great because the tide can come in, but you're advised not to choose anything too risky with Neptune here, uh, right into the middle of the next decade. I spoke about this in the Decade Ahead Horoscope, so you might wanna have a look at that. But yeah, this energy, you might as well get comfortable. You're right in the middle of it. It's gonna be with you for a little bit while longer. And so what this means is stay really conservative with investments and at the same time, 
know that whatever it is that comes will come, whatever it is that needs to go will go, but in the process, you will be fine. In the process, you will have exactly what it is you need. And if you are one of those people, one of those Leos who's found the last couple of years to be a time when you felt that sense of ups and downs where it comes to uh, your ability to access resources, if you will, well then it becomes that much more imperative that you use this energy in its other ways. You give this energy somewhere to go. Uh, you focus more on the spiritual development part of the sky. Uh, you look more deeply within yourself psychologically or you work towards some meaningful change in your own life. By directing this energy, you're able to tap into the power of the sea. Neptune is God of the seas. And when you tap into that power, goodness, you are unstoppable. So give this energy something to do. This could be a time when you become aware that, hey, I've got this energy. It's asking me to make a change. Let me give it something to do. And that'll end up benefiting you a lot. But yes, remember this, the tide comes in and the tide goes out. It's just a part of life. But when it is that we have such strong financial energy, it means that the money you need is there. You may have to address a matter and it may raise some sense of feelings within you, but you will shine through it. Saturn is speaking in harmony with this full moon. And that tells me that there is stability at this time. There is maturity at this time that ensures long-term success. Within days of the full moon, right around the 18th, is when Saturn will officially go direct. Uh, since the late spring and throughout the summer so far, Saturn has been retrograde. And Saturn has been moving through a part of the sky for you that has to do with your daily life. And so your workplace, uh, your clients, your customers, uh, your coworkers, uh, and the type of work you're doing, that's covered here, as well as your health-related habits. And so it might have been during this time, again, if you were uh, actually doing something to create change health-wise or whether it was that you were hoping for change work-wise, it might have felt a little stagnant. It might have felt like you weren't making the kind of gains that you would like. All of that starts to change in the middle of the month. With Saturn moving forward, you may feel as if you are finally moving forward, feeling better, but also where it comes to your work, feeling as if there are more opportunities for you on that front as well, able to attract connections with people, again, coworkers, uh, immediate supervisors, clients, and customers that can be part of your long-term success. Now, towards the end of the month, right around the 28th, is when we are going to have this month's new moon. This new moon is happening in a part of the sky for you that has to do with communication of all kinds, uh, whether it is how you are expressing yourself spontaneously, whether it is documents, emails, uh, text messages, or phone calls. I know a lot of people don't do that as much anymore, but yes, that is covered here, as well as mail that you may get. Contracts, negotiations are covered here. So here's the thing, this new moon is standing across the sky from Chiron. And Chiron is an energy that represents the wounded healer. It is a representation of an opportunity to either move towards healing yourself or facilitate healing in another. And it tends to indicate vulnerability. And so, especially in the days around this new moon, it is possible that through a synchronistic set of moments, uh, you find yourself having a conversation with somebody that invites you to consider your own vulnerability, invites you to look at what may be happening within you and how it is that you desire uh, to express yourself. The other part of this, of course, is you may find yourself in a conversation with another person and you are asked to act as a point of healing in this person. Now, ultimately, in order for us to truly be a part of someone else's healing, we have to work on our own. And at the same time, this may be an, a chance for you to look at the limits of your power to heal another, because the thing is that we can't really heal others, right? What we can do is that we can invite a perspective or we can share something that we offer, whether it's energetically or otherwise, but ultimately it is up to a person if they want to change. A person who is willing to change, great things become possible, but yes, also help. They often do need help. 
but there's healthy ways of helping people. And this may be part of the larger learning that does show up for you at this time. For some of you though, this very learning may show up where it comes to a matter related to a sibling, a cousin, or a neighbor. And so you may find yourself having to interact with one of these people, looking at their vulnerabilities or helping them to explore theirs or feeling vulnerable with one of these people as a result of your interaction with one of these people. And this is ultimately really good because as awareness grows, so does meaningful change at the same time. Now, where it comes to matters of love, uh, we are going to have, uh, through the second part of the month, Venus moving into this very conversational, very mind-oriented part of the sky for you. And it is here that it becomes that much easier to talk to another person to forge uh, mind level connections, intellectual connections, and connections that are rooted in healthy friendship as well. This energy will take you right into next month. And even though those days right around the new moon do have a heightened vulnerability, that energy won't be there this whole time. And for the most part, you're gonna find yourself that much uh, more able to talk about matters of heart. If you are open to meeting someone new, well, the online connections can be especially successful now. Again, just be mindful in the days right around the new moon because the heightened vulnerability, but for all that, yes, you may find yourself making meaningful connections online or through social media, or just walking around your neighborhood, running into somebody, and that ends up opening up an awareness of the options available to you when it comes to matters of love. For those of you who are just starting to date somebody, uh, this can be a time when you feel more able to talk to them, they're more able to talk to you. Again, the days around the new moon, there might be some sense of maybe you said too much or feeling a little vulnerable as a result of what was shared or having some mixed feelings, and that really is okay. We do have that beautiful Venusian energy with you through the second part of the month and into next month as well. And that is energy that invites you to continue talking and to understand. For those of you who are in an established bond with Venus moving through this part of the sky, there's nothing you can't talk about with your partner, nothing you can't uh, truly work through with your partner as well. Again, those days around the new moon, just be mindful there because your partner may be a little bit more sensitive or you may be more sensitive than you had anticipated. But for all that, we do have some really beautiful energy for feeling as if you are nurturing the genuine companionship the two of you share. What I love about this month for you, well, there is a lot here, but I am going to say Saturn moving forward. I actually think that energy is going to work very well and to your advantage. Saturn is also the ancient ruling planet of your opposite sign, which means that what is happening in your daily life may be linked to partnerships of all kinds. So if it feels as if you were hoping a professional partnership would help you to move forward in a more practical sense, would bring more work your way, well, you may find that that is finally taking place. But for others of you, if you have wanted to experience your partner as part of your daily life more, well, this is gonna allow the two of you to feel that much more stable and secure in the love that you share. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.